to anyone here that's... Uh, to anyone that's here, I wish you a great day. So, today we're going to be picking up right where I left off on AI Somnium Files. To tell the truth, I know very little about what's going to happen. It's... Quite frankly, this story is taking quite the turn to me. I... At the very least, this time the kids aren't dead. So... That's good. As long as the kids stay not dead, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, so we left off on number four. If anybody's wondering what the autosave is from, I was doing audio checks earlier. So hopefully the audio's at a fairly good level. I'm actually trying to get my second... There we go. I was just getting a bit set up so that I can check on my own stream, make sure that everything's going alright. And it looks like everything's functioning as it should. As you can see, I did update my PNG a little bit so that it talks and it has a cycle that it goes through whenever it's not talking. It's not perfect because the cycle whenever it's not talking is just constantly going. Okay, everything seems to be functioning. So, without further ado, why don't we start on AI Somnium Files 4. Okay, yes, load. Okay, so I found out that the mom has dementia, that, that the governor guy carries heat. Uh, this kid may or may not be a hero. I'm still undecided on that. I still think that he set something up and it just went poorly for him. But, boss, what do you have to say for yourself? I know that you didn't kill somebody in this route, yet, but that doesn't change the facts. So, why are you here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. In Weird. me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. Did he? <laughs> Did he really? I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Little? I'm... 24. To Holy me, you're still shit, little. that makes everything way more creepy. I didn't know that he was 24. I thought he was like... 12. Wait, did I think that? He looks 12, 14, 16. Holy shit, he's 24 and pulling this stuff. That's... nuts. Okay, boss, did you find any clues? If I did, I would have told you already. Well... Maybe not in front of him. So... Hey, boss, you wanna ask go to anything? Why am I asking you this? I'll leave this to you, Date. Oh, yeah. Eh... Uh, TV, what did you see? Hey, Date! When are you planning on leaving? The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. What? Why wouldn't he watch that tonight? He's sitting in a fucking hospital. Date. Uh, patient monitor, what do you give me? Oh no, kid's going to die. Okay, kid. Well, you're not a fucking kid. You're 24. I wasn't a kid at 24. I'm certainly not a kid at 27. 
Okay, Yota. You creepy ass motherfucker. What she got? Oh yeah, I forgot. He hit me in the back of the head this time. That probably hurt a hell of a lot more than Taser did. At the very least, it didn't knock out our recordings. Unfortunately, the only witness doesn't have memory. Yay. Okay, did she hear about Iris? She died. Her surgery was successful, she really right? Yeah, yes, it was. Thanks to you. If Unfortunately, you there, Iris is missing Iris when Iris real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. That he wasn't saw how a strong polar bear. I was and got scared, no doubt. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that yeah. go today. Yeah, you're right. Kid, even if you didn't set all this up, you're still creepy as shit. And I get the feeling that you're gonna try and get her to fall in love with you for that. Uh, good god. So... Who stabbed you? Polar bear? Were you watching the stream? You weren't a on the polar stream. Bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Okay. About the walk that now has the back of my head printed in it. Oh yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. Honestly, okay. I expected him to say You're something not gonna like get a your head chance. sounded like a gong. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Uh... Oh yeah, he never has told me what that thing is, and every time I asked him, he's tased me once, he's walked me once. What in the world is he going to do this time? He's in a hospital bed, what can he do? Strangle me with a cord? About that thing. That's... Private? <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Hey, okay. Alex. Not much is cooking. Uh, this dude was trying to cook with my head earlier whenever he hit me with a walk. Unfortunately for him, my, ta my head doesn't taste very good, so, uh, the walk's ruined now. We found out that his mom has dementia, or something akin to that. So that was fun. So even though she watched us get hit, she doesn't remember it. And her husband's been dead for years and she doesn't know it. Honestly, I feel bad for him and hate him at the same time. As far as my everyday life, I woke up not too long ago, and just decided, you know what, I want to stream today. And here I am. What's going on with you? Let's see. What happened after you left Mitsuka Diner? About the Ikidori Man... Chocolate. Eh, 
Yeah, I always have fun with this game. Even whenever it's, uh... Showing two kids dying. That was a lot. <laughs> okay, about the chocolate that I found in the warehouse. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. Oh, what? Alex, what Do are you, you know making? know something about it? You Is don't it have fried to show rice? Me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Okay, what happened to you aside from the person trying to kill you after you left the diner after hitting me in the head and stole a car? Actually, you stole two cars. I'm still not even clear on how you did that. You mean after hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was going to go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But that then sounds delicious, I heard Alex. Tessa screaming. Oh, to help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Oh. So that's how he Before stole two cars. Before I even realized cars. what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The Borrowing a car without asking is stealing a car. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. So she got grabbed from the grocery store. Interesting, because nobody should have known that she was going there. Unless they had been tailing the entire time, or she was random. Hmm. So, what happened after you stole the station wagon and went into pursuit of the other car that you stole that has now been stolen from you? I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police? I thought, after I hit you... You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I okay, wasn't this thinking kid may not be I evil. was panicking. He might and just be that's stupid. that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? So Alex, my how phone, long does it take to... I left to my new phone in the car. ...cook that sauce? Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So, I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. The rest is both you and her almost died. Until I showed up and chased the person off. So... What happened after you ran into the warehouse? I'm guessing you immediately ran and knew exactly how to turn off the bloody thing. Okay. So, what happened after the did warehouse? Did you see me turn off the saw? Yes, yeah, yes we did. Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Gotta watch out for those polar bears. They're packing knives. Okay, we're not gonna be able to identify the polar bear, but I'll ask. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. You told us everything. Dutty, look. 
Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Wow. He is very warm. So, how about telling us everything? You didn't tell us about that thing. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. The fuck what did, did you, you lie do, about? Kid? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... something happened after. What, did you see the murder? Tell me. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Apparently driver's licenses Shh. are really hard to get in Japan. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. Hey, Hearing, how are you? I had to buy Yeah, I car. went through yesterday and updated the PNG. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. Thank you. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. Yeah, we've so got bigger I deals right kept now. Quiet. Like her potentially being a murderer, because that kind of adds up to she probably killed him. But oh well, which. Oh, you got more information about that. Okay. So, hearing, how's your day going? Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? That's a really good question. Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. I swear to God, if he tries to kill me again, third time is not the charm, kid. I will punch you out this window. You are 24, and I thought that you were a kid. I will punch you out the window. You know, let me double check and see if I can punch you out the window. It is a window, so I can punch you out the window. Apparently, judging by what I was just told at the beginning of this, he's 24. I thought they was like 16, maybe. Which, him being 24 makes all of this way more creepy than it already was. Okay, kid. Oh god, what am I gonna find on your x-ray? What are you packing? The knife that you gave your mom? Oh god, I just realized that him and his dad might have given his mom that knife and the apron whenever they found out that she had dementia. That's why it's all in such good condition, she doesn't actually use it.
Okay. I swear if you were packing a gun, you're gonna wish that I punted you out that window. I fucking knew it, it's his knife. Kid. Kid. You've tased me. You've hit me in the head with a frying pan. And now you're looking at stabbing me. I'm now pretty sure that this kid stabbed himself. I'm now very certain that he just set all this bullshit up. Okay. Kid? Boss? Why can't I just tell Boss to back away from the kid? And I have a gun. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, I probably have to identify what he's got that's weird. A knife. I'll believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? To stab you, In Date. In any case, you know what you have to do now. Stab him first. I know. Or punch him out the window. Turn off life support. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Good job, boss. Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. Actually, yes we can. But you can still get information. We can do better than questioning him. Beep bada boop, we about to loot this kid's head. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what the fuck is inside this kid's head. Okay, Alex, well, I hope that your sauce goes very well and tastes delicious for you and your parents. If it's bubbling over, one thing for, at the very least, water is to put a wooden spoon over the pot, and that'll keep it from boiling over, to a certain extent. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Every time that he says six minutes, I think of the but song. Are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just say that Ota just stabbed himself by accident while trying to stab you. It's not even that much of a lie. He has a history of messing up. So, what part of your memory are we going to see? Yeah, I'm not worried about Ota getting hurt, I'm more worried about me getting hurt, but... Honestly, that is very cute. Can you please take me with you? Why are you so cat-like? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Honestly Sorry, saying. We can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Wi-Fi is very nice. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? No, no a but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. I see By a bunch way, of things that stand out in the warehouse that, that are different. Either that, everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... Oh, it's Barry the Bear. Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar! This Apulling fucking child. Strike back against evil! 
Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! Well, at the very least, he still sees himself exactly as he is. Not as some macho man. I don't know if that's better or worse. Because he views himself as perfect. dream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help. What I the thought map. that we couldn't make up anything Sonia new in these Activate. dreams. Yeah, dreams are weird. Actually, most of my dreams, if they have people in them, the people don't have faces. I think my last dream out of 15, 16 people, one person had a face. And though it's not creepy to me in the dream, it's just a thing. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Kid. Damn it! If I go and make that, I'll have nothing to show for it! All of it amounts to uh, nothing! What will I do? Well, first of all, that's not how that you slip exactly, on ice. But the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Agreed. Okay, uh, what am I going to do? Icy floor... Oh wait, I have a map. I keep on forgetting about that. Okay, so I've got Icy Floor, that forklift, the Frozen Forklift, the Ice Cutting Machine, Iris, Heated Insulated Door. That's interesting, actually. Why are you heated? Ah, come on. Oh god, it's going to be finicky. The door. Okay. Everything is super expensive, so uh let's not Icy floor. The ice on the floor is slick. Hmm. Good grief, everything is super expensive in this dream. Jump. The orthodox method. Understood. Okay, I think that we're just gonna have to mimic everything that Ota no, wants no, no, to no, do. Those who don't fight won't survive! Look at those dead eyes! You knock that polar bear the fuck out! Okay, got the ice removed, and now I'm at a branching path. Both of them are from interlock number two. Interesting. Wow, he's as strong as a polar bear. He's too strong! It sucks! This is war after all! Oh, I thought they was gonna try and Tessa, kick the- May the glory of victory be yours! But you need to have victory, it's over. What? I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. So, uh, this kid sucks in his own dream. I feel bad for him. I'm very curious about that forklift and that box that's kind of tilted. Forklift. A forklift. Sortie? I don't know what that top word is, so I'm going to do it. What? Sortie? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. 
Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. What is sorting? All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty! What? Do any of you know what that word is? It has reversed in time. I don't think this ending is acceptable. We're forgetting something. Right. I had a feeling. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. Oh, wait, I have the hints up there. Escort him to the green shelf, escort him to the red shelf. Um, what are these plates? A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Uh, breathing on it will usually melt it? D? D. Yeah, D's, D's don't really nuts. Do it for me. They have to be at least a there is no end to your desire. Oh, back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Okay, uh, we'll draw. Oil draw. Minutes, Dante. Though it is lying down. Hmm. If I roll it, it might bump into that shelf and knock it over and whatever's on top of it might launch. This room's just weird. I don't even really know what I'm supposed to do. I thought that she wasn't going to be strong enough to roll it for a second. They're not that heavy, but whenever you're so tiny... What is this? Eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. S stand your well, ground. Uh, he has we'll the brain brain cowards, control no now. One. I think my brain just died there for a second. Okay, so I make my way onto the second route. I seem to have a very strong habit of doing the second route. Stone the letter A on the drum. Eh. I have to fight back with something! Well, the crane will certainly... Oh, no electricity. Great. Okay, uh, map. So, we got plate, plate, plate. Oh, that's how it got the letter, isn't it? I unlocked the plate of A and then... Okay. So... Power board. Other side of the world. I don't think I have time to mess with the door, really, so... Let's head to the power board before I run out of time. Everything is so expensive in this dream. I haven't really done much power wrong. Power. Mm. You want for electricity? Great. <laughs> Please move. Come on, electrical gods. Miracles and magic. 
magic are real. No, they aren't. Oh. You have less than two minutes. Oh, I was hoping the electrical gods were real. It appears to be a power panel. My college lied to me. Uh. Okay, uh, jump. I can make it now. Sailing jump! Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Float! Enough. You've done well. Yeah, we're not the protagonist in this stream, it so we can't do anything. Panel. Okay. Throw something. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Mm. Did the kid really fucking knock the bear with the crane? Now it will move! If so, I am impressed, kid. I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up! This is annoying. Hmm. What does the map have on it now? So much stuff, good god. Okay, I've got plates, I've got forklift. I'm wondering if for the other ending I need to defrost all of these plates and then turn on the forklift. Okay, then I've got... Ooh. The frozen forklift, which I don't think anything's happening with. Now I've got Oda himself. I've got the ice getting machine. I've got Iris, who I highly doubt is the hero. I've got the door, and I've got the remote control. I'm gonna guess the remote control's gonna be what I need. Remote remote control. Remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Um, one seven. Press a button. Any button. I hear some sounds, but no response. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Yeah, Ota. Oda so do I have to deal with Oda? Cannot stand. Oda looks frightened. Wow. Her that is blanks of how much it'll cost me and how much it'll get me. Good God. Okay, maybe it will cost me 20 now? Motivate the skid. Don't be scared. Stand up. Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it and you'll be rewarded. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up! Now, count up your sins! Oh, that's probably the right answer no matter what. I guess. And since it's the last one, it doesn't really matter. Maybe? Why would you store your hook that way? This! How would you store your hook that way?
Well, then it's a, uh... Ouch! Wait, so that puddle of blood wasn't Oda's. Oda wasn't hurt. Oda stabbed himself and then laid down on the puddle of blood so that we would think that he got stabbed. So that he could play the hero who got Kata, hurt? you've hit the limit! Time's up! Wait! I can almost make out their face! Pewter, force shutdown! Stop! Stop it! Oh, never mind. I did notice something just now, though. Remember what I said about that knife was real peculiar? That I thought that maybe it was his mom's knife? That knife had flowers on it. That was his mom's knife. I wonder if his mom just doesn't have dimension as just evil. And it's pretty messed up. But yeah, that knife was definitely the same one that I absor observed before. So I really want to go back and see if she still has What it. were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Okay, if I may, if the danger is that high, then the engineer in this situation is absurdly in the fault. You need to have interlocks or something so that it shuts down after six minutes, and there is no possible way to go beyond that. It shouldn't be a manual shutdown thing, it should be an automatic process that after six minutes, you're done. That's about like if you're working in a facility and they have presses and that kind of stuff, metalworking. You'll find little yellow bars that are on either side of it. Those yellow bars are a light curtain. So one side of it's going to be sensors. Actually, usually both sides would be sensors and also um, LEDs. So one can see the other, and if you put your hand in the middle, one can't see the other and the machine turns off. Or, if they don't have that kind of equipment, usually they'll have something like both of your hands have to be in a certain air control console to have it function. They can't do much about you putting your head in or, or something like that in that case, but usually it's far enough away that that's not even a possibility. You would need two people being idiots to have that happen. But no matter what, Oh yeah, there are tons of safety systems in engineering, in factories. Except for paper mills. In my experience, paper mills are not that safe. One of the ones that I was working at, the overnight crew had two people die because the um, they were inside of one of the cleaning tanks doing the inspection and Apparently somebody didn't do the lockout properly, so the machine got turned on with them in it. Um, there's also something called lockout tagout, which essentially you place a lock on the machine that you're going to be working on so it can't be turned on. Usually if you're working in a crew, 
there will be a box that has a key to that original lock that was put on it. And that box will be set up so that each member of the crew will put their own lock on the box. And unless all of those locks are removed, you can't get the original key back. Which means that if somebody loses their keys, it's very frustrating. You have to do paperwork and you have to get them to cut off their own lock with witnesses. And it's a whole big process. Which happens more often than you'd think because you're supposed to use locks that only have one key to them and no combination locks ever. It also makes getting locks kind of hard because most locks that you find come with two keys. And that's just a safety ha hazard. Okay, I'm going back to the game instead of ranting about safety. Good god. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota... Not necessarily. Huh? You can put anyone's you face on face anything in, in Somnium. You? I don't you know what you're talking that. about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them, when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, yep, that's I got stabbed the knife. in my gut. She stabbed her own son. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. To verify, I would love to... Well, actually... Can that knife just be a general knife and that's the one they's used to seeing? I guess dreams are unreliable enough that that could be a problem? <sighs> Either way, the knife that we saw him holding didn't look like that same knife, so he didn't take their knife. So, if she still has her decorated knife, I still think it's her. But, okay, Otaku. Oh yeah, it can't really be her because her leg isn't just absolutely destroyed. Because if a crane hits your leg, it, you're done. You're not going to be setting that yourself. Uh, why were you hiding the knife? Probably because you feel threatened, somehow. You know what, why were you hiding a knife? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. What do you mean, they don't know that? You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it? No! Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, what the fuck? You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. How would you clean the room before going to a party? Hoping somebody that would come home with you? Ah. That's in general not a problem for me. Okay, uh. How are you feeling, young idiot? I've been better. And I'm still a little drowsy. Yeah, what about I your stab you. Why, what? Oh! Oh, it hurts! <sighs> It started acting up suddenly. Ow! Yeah, it's because you that's... grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Don't blame me, that was boss. That was indeed boss. I'll sue you for this! Oh, 
come on. Suit balls for this. Or how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. I see Ota Holy is back to his shit. happy self. Guess so. That's just absolutely disgusting. Who would use a straw? <laughs> I'm choking. Okay. Ugh, you weird ass pervert. You know, this is the type of kid that would tell a girl that she smells different whenever she's sleeping. I don't even want to talk to you after that. Good God. Ew. Okay, about the polar bear's weird walk now. Oh, it's a, that leg let is me broken. ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Oh. Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? Yeah, that's it's a like broken I told femur. You, I don't really remember much. Probably a broke with all the tension it's really and excitement dislocated and fear and adrenaline, head. probably broken. My mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Ah. Uh. Yeah. No doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar Actually, bear's that left leg. A question. And then was the that a mix out, of both of their blood? Sprayed all over. If not, where is polar bear's blood? I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. How the fuck is what that possible? What I saw in is how it happened in real life. That was a deep wound. That's it definitely worth it at first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is no not way what I in said. hell that you can deal with they that on your have own. They helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. Those crane hooks are extremely heavy. And that thing was swinging, I'm gonna guess, a 20 30 foot rope. So we at know the that least, the culprit has a deep wound at a on 90 the left degree leg. angle. That, thing that information was carrying could be crucial a hell of a lot of Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? What? Date, what is the matter? What's the matter? I stayed in Somnium too long because the dumbass engineer did a bad job. Bloop. Date! Are you alright? Oh yeah, everyone, remember to drink water. I'm actually almost out of water. Oh, hey, I finally got a night's sleep. <gasps> hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? Hello, child. What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. That sounds right. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Yeah. Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. What do you mean, she met them? She's been in Somnium before, so 
yeah, she's met them unless she was just unconscious the entire time. Which she wasn't. I was talking to her. She's talked to them. Okay. I'm curious about... Oh. A door rabbit. Why is it a trans flag? Eh, weird. That's a hell of a speaker. I am jealous. Oh god, they're, it's stereo. Although with this size of speaker, I would hasten to say surround sound. Good god. I'd imagine your neighbors hate you. And yes, it's mostly hollow. That's a resonance chamber. Speakers have to be hollow to sound okay. Okay, uh... You got a turntable? Wait, audio file? An audio file would not be listening to a record player. I guess one might, but that's not a good way to listen to music. Yeah, what can I say? My dad has a massive record player that I've hooked up before. It was fun, but... Yeah, it's some bad taste in music to me. <laughs> it was very sad to get rid of it, because apparently whenever he was around my age, he spent thousands of dollars on it. Wait, garbage can? Is Oda in there? Damn. Uh... 25 kilograms on either side. It looks like that's a double weight. Uh, let's see. I think that's 100 to 200 pounds, I think. Because 2.5 become... Am I doing the pounds to kilograms backwards or not? trying to remember which way it goes. But I'm just drawing a blank. I'm thinking one kilogram is about 2.5 pounds. Anything over here? Well, Okay, Mizuki. Actually, question. I only see one bed and one sofa. And one room. Have we just been sharing a single room with her? And sleeping on- And one of us sleeps on a bed, one sleeps on a sofa the entire time? How the fuck are we a fit parent? More fit than the rich dead guy. Okay, okay. So, uh, why aren't you at school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday, you should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? I'm taking the day off for morning. But it's afternoon. I see. Okay. Where the fuck did Oda go? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. Yeah, no shit. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Probably shouldn't Why have told her about that. that. Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure and that makes her a police officer? To know. Does she? Okay, okay, okay. I'm mainly interested, did Pewter say anything? Because he's the one that designed the system without interlocks or that kind of stuff. Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. 
So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Well, we also haven't slept in days, so, uh, yeah, we were probably exhausted. Okay, gotta get back to the investigation. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you I yesterday, Masuki. I not to. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Actually, Dante, no. Come with me because I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be next. My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. So I get this kid therapy. Dante, please. Seriously, therapy. Okay, Mizuki. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A Honestly, bond that was I feel that. By the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. I don't think that you should come with me, but you also shouldn't be alone. And you definitely shouldn't hang out with Ota anymore. So, come here. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. This poor kid's been all alone this Here, entire time. Wipe your tears. We're heading out. Ah, thank you for I must the follow. Admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left is leg does not help me narrow the suspect significantly. We need to like revisit Zara. the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. Okay. I have a feeling that I know who's gonna have a messed up leg. So let's see if it gives me that option. Okay, I can go to the shrine. I can go to Cold Storage, Limnuscate, Sunfish po Pocket, the Hospital, or Marble. None of those are where I want to go. I want to go to Ota's mother and see if she has the knife. I really like Zira. It's a good name. So how are you today? Actually, 1 to 7. Which one do you think I should go to? The music... The amusement park where the girl that's with me, mother. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, hearing votes three. Cold storage. Good choice. We gotta figure out where the culprit's blood is, considering that he or she got stabbed with. I don't know. It's weird. So, let's find out how reliable this kid's dream was, and will we find the culprit's blood? Cold storage warehouse. Actually, in his dream, it had a heated door. 
So that's interesting. This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? It gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You they need did to really almost chill. get killed. The last loop I watched them both get sawn in half. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. Is that our favorite inspector? Hmm. I don't know. This one comes off a bit cold. I like the one outside more. Hmm. Well, she's shivering, so are you cold? It's a stupid question. Are you cold? Could I have your jacket? Yes. Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket Why? probably hasn't been washed in years. Honestly, correct. Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. Yeah, Date sucks as a father. She probably would be better off in foster care. So, anything on your mind other than your two only friends almost getting sawn in half? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? Left around the he thigh. He did get hurt, right? Very badly. The boss lady said so. The ah. crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, oh. blood sprayed all over. Yeah, you're not gonna patch That's that right. up by yourself. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. Hi, Shark. That how are you? Wait, you know me? You mean IRL? Wouldn't surprise me. Ah, thank you. Let's see. Have you been here before, concerned that you're related to the guy that owns this place? Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. Why would I lie about that? Oh yeah, I really enjoy going to Emily's streams. I also enjoy the confusion of referring to both of us as Emily. <laughs> no, it's nowhere near the confusion of... There's someone else on Twitch that has the name... Uh, Emily Astor. That was very confusing. <laughs> okay. So, why am I asking her about the blood? Okay. Somewhere frozen in this warehouse is the polar bear's blood. Well, to be precise, the blood of the person in the polar bear costume. Okay, more about the blood. Hmm, same thing. Well, I would assume that Ota it's was this. Down around here. Correct. Well, Ota was stabbed at the same place as the polar bear. Pretty much. The so blood they could have there mixed. must belong to Ota. Correct. Not necessarily. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. It could be both their blood. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Bingo. Two different blood types are present. 
One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. The hey, other. I'm do you guessing have DNA is forensics Ota's on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. Oh. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. Honestly, this investigator is warming up to me. You did He's it, He's actually Dante. doing a good We're job. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. Does Japan have a database of blood? But it might blood? take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. I still really want to check and see if she still has the knife. Because if she does, it's her. Or someone else. Maybe her husband's still alive. I don't know. Let's go to Lemnuscate. I'm not really sure what, what we'll learn there. Who's going to be here aside from the pers The receptionist should be there. That's about it. Earring, you're right. She does look happier. Okay, the receptionist is here. Uh, and it's just her. Great. I love talking to you. Actually, have you seen anybody walking around with a... Um... I'm sorry, my brain just stopped by the right option. By the way, what's your cup size? Good god. I just noticed the top option. Are you sure that our mind is okay? Now, have you seen anybody with the injured left leg? Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? Sounds horrifying. You know, hearing you've got a point, why is that a question? So, uh, by the way, what's your cup size? Two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three yeah, cups yeah. would be a nightmare. Date, why are you asking that? By the way, it won't let me leave here until I actually ask these things. I don't have access to the map. Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. Seriously? Really? Yeah. She sealed her mouth shut and puffed out her cheeks. I poked them with my fingertips. They were surprisingly soft. Date, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Thank you, Mizuki. Thank you. I'm beginning to think that we might have gotten mixed in with... Ota just a tad, and I'd really rather not be mixed in with Ota. Anything else? No. Mizuki. About the person with the injured leg, they weren't Mizuki, here. Could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Oh, Got it. That's smart. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Oh. Give her a hit pad for trying. Do 
you have any memories of Renju here? That's a really sad question. Literally yesterday she saw him dead. Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual? The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. Yeah, that sounds a lot like a kid and a father that has nothing to do with the kid. It's really awkward. Let's go to Renju's office, if we can. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Nothing was in there. Mm. Damn, no hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, we've got Bloom Park, the Shrine, Sunfish Pocket, the Hospital. You know what, let's go back to the hospital, figure out if the kid still has a knife. I really hope they doesn't. Yeah. I do love that car. Mizuki! And Date. Ota, are you okay? Okay, yeah, the blue haired totally. one. I want to know if she has a hurt leg. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, no let me see your leg. All. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. We are so... not his friends. Okay, she is, but she shouldn't be. Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. <sighs> Mizuki. About Ota. He's a piece of shit. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota! You have a wound of honor! No, not really. Well, I guess a little. You have a Calling wound of me dumbass. A hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. It is a good thing Iris was saved, but he's still irritating. Even more irritating Iva, than seeing cosplay right. in public. They... What the fuck's wrong with cosplay in public? Okay, some of it's obnoxious, but overall, let people do what they want to do. Okay, uh, about Iris. She's missing Have you one. heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah, the story of a thousand paper cranes is actually a fairly sad one. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. Yeah, hearing, I agree. Now, granted, I have seen cosplayers that were practically naked. That's not going to work well in everyday environments, but. Quite frankly, I've seen worse work at Walmart. Walmart people are weird. No, 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 I don't want to get going yet. I want to talk to Oda a bit. Hmm. About the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? 
No, if you remember clue, anything at all, please your mom. tell me. I think me. that she's the culprit. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... W wait Mizuki, you don't have to tell him! Ew! Like, what the fuck? Ugh. I didn't expect the worst thing about a murder game to be this 24-year-old guy talking to... How old is Mizuki? Is she 12? I'm very tempted to go get my phone and look up how old he is and how old she is. Because I'm pretty sure that I was told that he's 24, and I'm pretty sure that she's in 6th grade and she's 12. Which, by the way, to be pumping 100 to 200 pounds of iron, that's fucking nuts. How are you, you weird-ass pervert? Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika. Reika. Seriously? Seriously. Huh. Since eyeballs connected to... My brain. Can Eyeball record my dreams? Can I watch my dreams back? Can I make a movie out of my dreams? So, Odo, you remembered anything? After we, uh, rifled through your memories? No, just what I told you yesterday. Alright. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I see. If it ain't broke, Maybe break you him. should hit him. I no, agree. no, no way. Otis pretty energetic for being in bed all day. That tends He's to the make you a bit energetic. Annoying around women. He does get very annoying. Okay, Oda. Got anything else? Uh, not a thing. Can I thermal you? Or anything to see if you have a knife again? Why don't you show the other hand? Honestly, the IRL reason why he probably doesn't is he does have a knife there. Because it's the same model. Okay, Mizuki. What got blocked? Allow. I don't... Okay, pervert was blocked. That's just weird. Why was pervert blocked? This kid... I'm debating whether or not I should call a 24 year old a kid. You know what? From now on, you're just pervert. This pervert needs to quit talking to my daughter. I mean, it's almost exclusively used as an insult, but in this case, I think it's deserved. Okay, let's get going. I don't want to be around yeah, this let's go. pervert anymore. Wait! You two just got here! 
It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. Good <sighs> job, Mizuki. We already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm. Let's see. And I think that the pop star that he's been stalking and manipulating is 19 or 18. Good grief. Okay, uh, let's go to the sunfish pocket. Where her dad died. I'm very surprised that my captions actually got that right. I looked over just to see what they were saying. So, a 12-year-old, a 24-year-old, and an 18-year-old walk into a bar. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we know this body was inside of one of these oil drums. Is the security camera back on, is my question. It doesn't tell me. Izuki, you got anything? I am sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. Her eyes I was the are one who said so I wanted to come with you, dead. so... Let's get going. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Okay, the place that I should have taken you to. I hate to take you to these slices directly one after the other. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot. But sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. This game actually brings back a good bit of memories, because I remember me and my father riding the merry-go-round whenever I was a kid outside of the... Uh, what's it called? Arcade that he would rent out for me and my brother's birthday party. We weren't born at the same time. We just shared a birthday party. Because it's cheaper. And I didn't have any friends that lived in that state. I also know that it's hard to lose a parent. Even after you've not talked to them a while. Mizuki, how are you doing? Renju was probably off to the side if I had to guess. Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. Yep. He was on the right. other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, 
Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Oh well, yeah, Mom you were moving. wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. Aww. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. That's... Mm. Did you come here with your friends, aside from that night? Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? Tainted memories. How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. Yeah. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. I have memories like that. I don't think I'll ever want to go and view fireworks in Memphis again. Because that's pretty much my happiest memory. And I doubt that it would be the same. Did you go on any other rides that you remember? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the Panda ride. They're kinda tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Oh. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Define it? That's a good question. You mean question. like being blood-related? No. That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, Family I guess is okay. who you choose. It's okay. This is what I think. A family is... a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's Honestly? why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to Mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why Mom hit me. And why Mom and Daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then Mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, Mom wouldn't have been killed. This... All of this... Is all my fault. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? <laughs> I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... If she wasn't dead, I would kick her fucking ass.
If there's one thing that I hate more than just about anything, it's bad parents, and this person is absolutely unfit to have ever been allowed to have a kid. I'm not kidding about that. She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone! Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal! Date, honey, you can't work her up like that! Be glad that I have a mute function on my microphone. Okay. Where's Mizuki while you're at the marble bar? Sleeping at home? Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Tell me the rest of your story. I quit my job for that girl. My I hand threw hurts. away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. Have a wonderful I have no day, choice. hearing. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I'm looking forward to your next stream. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Stop crying before I give you a reason to cry. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... I've heard that. I'm actually really glad that Mizuki's living with us now, because holy shit, her own life was... These people should be in jail. Child abuse and neglect. You don't fucking get your kids. Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything the only is stupid her fault. one here is you. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why because doesn't anyone understand? Because you're the one understand? making the problem that you're trying to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Well, then some people shouldn't be mothers. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. What do you and know? Somebody else who know shouldn't, shouldn't have been allowed to be a mother. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that.
Ama, what do you have to say about all this? Did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. I wasn't even trying to set up a joke. Although I guess this is the past, so if you did lose weight compared to the last time that I saw you, then you would have gained weight. Sorry. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Really? Yeah, true. You're not even going to say, oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. Uh, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> what time do you close tonight? When you two are done talking. Oh, good bar. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Hmm. Okay. I really don't want to talk to you after talking to your wife. Because you're just making excuses for her. But okay. No, I don't feel bad about Shoko. Okay, in some way I do, but... Back then doesn't affect now. Or at least it doesn't give an excuse for now. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? Well, then you did weak. recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. It's definitely for the best if they're separated. And that you don't see Mizuki anymore, good god. I knew that things were bad, but... This is... Honestly, looking over at my character for how I'm feeling... My character is really, really happy. This is the kind of stuff that legitimately makes my blood boil. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. Yeah, she craves no praise shit. and She's attention never shown and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. And hell, even living with us, she never gets it. I would say that you should step in, but overall, you suck too. You just suck less. I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Hello, Shackleford. Hey, that's How your daughter you today? you're talking about. I am being livid. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. They're more than awful parents. They're flat-out fucking abusive. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. You know, Shanko Ford coffee is wonderful, but sleep is better. If you have the free time, taking a nap might be better for you. Granted, I understand a lot of people don't have the free time, so. At the very least, coffee tastes good. I hope that it's delicious. 
and I hope that you're having a good day. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Hold Don't her. blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I need to refill my water and apparently get some tissues. Okay, I'm back and less enraged. Okay, I want to go to the shrine. Yeah, I really like the animated PNG. It turned out better than expected. There are a few errors in it, like, um... The way that I meant it to be set up is whenever I'm done talking, it restarts the base pin, I mean the base gif, but the base gif just constantly runs under it. I'm trying to figure out what line of code I need to change to fix that, but overall it looks fine. Thank you. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did this you come here to pray that you find a criminal? That we hung no, out? I don't believe in God. Same. Wow, how edgy teen of you. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Being frugal and cheap are two very different things. Eh, I'm not terribly interested in Mizuki here. There's... Yeah, this is the same place that I was training with her earlier, over here. So, I never got a good look at what this is. I remember telling Mizuki that... Chazura was for washing your belly button. Did she believe that? I believe that. Kinda. I thought that was weird, but what is it for is my question. Okay, you wash your hands and face. Or are you lying about that too? I don't know what this thing is. I know so little about Japanese culture. I'll click on it one more time. Same thing. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no, Bell. Mr. Bell? Mrs. Bell. <laughs> I see you two are getting along well. Oh, I love that they have a similar sense of humor. Shrine. Looks rather solemn. Eh, that's a good thing. Do we have any money to put in the offering box? Hey, Mizuki. Do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Hey, well, Date! Are you really a cop? Even if you don't believe in God, the offering box is used to upkeep the place that you like to visit. Uh, okay, Mizuki. About your training. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. <laughs> Leave it to me! Begin! Well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for uh, it! Wait for me! Well, good thing that that priest isn't here anymore. Is that tree still there? Nope. I'm guessing it was right about here before you kicked it down. Good job, by the way. You're very strong. I'm glad that you didn't kill those bullies. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. Oh, good Jeez. reason. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told yeah. you, I don't believe in that stuff. Who cares come what on, you believe in? Come on! Honestly, that bell is less bell-like than I expected. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Aww. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because you don't believe in it. Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. Damn. You're more crooked Smart than kid. a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? My dream is coming true. And, uh, let's go to the bar. It's okay to bring a 12 year old to the bar in Japan, right? So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Hey, Date, are you ever going to eat those leftovers you're keeping in the fridge? Oh, no, they went bad a week ago. Hey, Mizuki. Actually, that's a good question. What is in your backpack? Hey, Mizuki. 
What's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well, water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches, triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers. Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? Better safe than sorry. I'm ready for anything. My only question is, what is a triangle badge? I heard, but wasn't there an illegal item in there? Yeah, you're not allowed to have right. triangle badges. Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. Why does this have a question about gay people in it? If anything, I guess that she's trans, not gay. Honestly, as far as gay or not, I've got no idea. Hmm. Still not used to mama? No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> scaredy cat. Hmm. Aww. Laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. It's cute. I'm going to expose your browser history. Oh god. What? No. Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl? Three minutes with a married woman? Stop, stop! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Honestly, Don Date is extremely calm in that regard. Huh. So, uh, Mizuki, got a problem with gay people? No, not at all. That's a hell of a question. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it! Bravo! Six million yen to you! You can transfer it to my account. That was actually a better response than what I could make. Good god. I am impressed. Not just with Mizuki, but with the writers of the game in general. Okay, Mama. How about the culprit with the injured leg? Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. Hmm. And if I find something... You have to take a bath with me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? Because oh. you take up all the hot water. That's your issue? I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. Costume? It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Uh, huh. That's weird. You're weird. I like you, but you're weird. Eh, why am I saying most of the people that I like are weird? Okay, hey, the, you know anything new about the Cyclops killings? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. What does that mean? I have no idea. Wow. About Mizuki? I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. Mm. <gasps> 
Date, what are you making me say? You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? No. Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask she me. Is. I guess maybe she's not trans, the uh, drag queen then? Maybe? That also makes sense. Oh, time to go. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't How say do you things know that? like that. In bed? What does that mean? Mizuki, you don't you need, don't to, need know. to know. Let's go. Okay, back to Abyss. Abyss. To yourself again. Do Does you Mizuki to to not know about my eye? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from we here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. Oh, I am sorry, Mizuki. This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And any time we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Date. I feel bad for her. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Mm. Ew, what? I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Oh, he wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... That uh, doesn't seem right. I'll head over right away. Mizuki, I'm concerned. be a good girl, okay? I'm very concerned. Yeah. Jeez. Am I gonna get tased at the warehouse? I have a habit of getting hurt. Uh, Dante, no. sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did oh. you find? It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. Other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but 
we couldn't find any matches in our database. That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. I was right. He's looking this way. Person? Mm. Fine motor controls is not good with this thing. Human figure. Zoom. Oh, it's that asshole. What is up? The eh. Wait. I'm more worried about this guy. This guy carries a gun. Bad okay, Figgy. Wait a second. Do you own the warehouse? Are you the vested figure that owns it? Or whatever the term is? That's... So, Sejima. I don't believe it. Well, that explains why in the His last loop leg. he got cut up. Huh? So, Sejima! Stop! <sighs> Damn it! Okay, that brings up a hell of a lot of questions. How in the fuck is So Sejima related to the dementia person? It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. Can't he's only we? dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnia. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Oh, he has his bodyguards. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? And it's a good point. Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well... However... I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting Damn. him now would only result in him denying everything. True. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's. Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? Hmm. We could stab him. I vote we stab him. Let's hit him with a crane again. And I guess you have a idea. Hmm, So's house isn't gonna be a good idea, but he is the type of person that would have a medical staff to himself most likely, so... That would explain how he's getting his leg treated. I didn't think about if you have enough money, you don't need to go to the hospital. Okay. I'm honestly thinking maybe Lemsky. What would you be looking for at Lemniscate? I don't know. So has no connection to the entertainment office. Alright. Okay, that's weird. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess 
Well, I know that So's house isn't going to work. That's a good point, Shackleford. People do go to the vet, and vets are well trained, so they would probably be extremely helpful. Actually, I've heard an argument that vets would be the most likely people to survive a zombie apocalypse because they have equipment in their car, and they are trained to work on a variety of animals. Plus, they wouldn't be in the human hospital whenever everything went down. Okay. I'm betting that he didn't go to the central hospital, but... Gummaker's office might have something set up. Hey, Iba. Do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? The cigarette butts. Oh. Who was smoking those cigarettes? That's actually a really good idea that I forgot exactly. about. Exactly. And so's saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have so's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But yes, but chance. he might have smoked again. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. I like this loop a lot more than last loop. A lot less dead people. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. Hey. Where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it. But I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, he'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Why huh? is he helping? That was easy. You said you were looking up. for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. Why is he so helpful? Then again, that's, I'd imagine, kind of how the underworld works. I don't know. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that So was smoking? Right, he was smoking. Nope. Maybe. Mm. I think it's Klein, but I'm not entirely sure. Sorry if my audio was weird. I blinked for it. I mean, so is a very old man. He's a congressman that is heavily involved with 
the Yakuza. At Yakuza. Also in the time loop, he was cut up into little pieces and his eye was removed and he was put into a pot. Okay, so, Ply Cigarette. I think that was I it. Remember. It's been about a week. So <laughs> smoking a Clyde cigarette. Correct. Oh, I got it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Oh, Pewter's got that it. smart. Yeah. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? I said anything for Tesseract. That doesn't even make sense. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass. <laughs> All right. Whatever you say. Well. Even mobsters are people that like pop stars online. I wonder if there are any actual mobsters that watch VTubers. That would be hilarious to me. Ugh. I'm counting on you, Pewter. You can you leave it shouldn't. to me. I don't trust Pewter as far as I can throw him. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Hmm. If I had six hours, you've got three. <sighs> That's totally unreasonable, but I suppose. I'll do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence, excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. There's no way that being in the outdoor garbage didn't mess with the DNA on that bud. But, okay. She should be there by now. Good. Poor Mizuki. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? Computer. Oh. Is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. Damn. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making So Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. I just thought of something. So and Oda's blood was mixed. So did that make soda? Okay, I'll continue. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're right. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Nope. No, Date, you're not. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? 
I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tight-knit for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire some... police force would be at risk. Something like the real identity of the original Cyclops killer? That might be something that So knows, because I... I highly doubt the story that it was a essentially a kid with a fascination for killing and the old guy that wanted people's eyeballs. That story just uh, doesn't fully add up. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? To be fair, he should have been off the case from the very you gotta start. Be kidding me! I mean, it was his daughter's parents that got murdered. That should pretty well take you off the case. Why are you going to Sosajima's mansion? You know that everyone in there carries guns. You're gonna get shot. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open I got a bad news for hours. you, Dante. Got bad Wait. news. Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. A video? Look! <sighs> Mizuki! Shit! Somebody's gonna be lit on fire. Somebody's gonna be doused in gal gasoline and lit on fire for this. And I really don't care who it is. Oh, I was trying to use the Shino Burn emote, but I apparently don't have that one. Hmm. Oh well. Mizuki! Mizuki! Actually! Mm -hmm. Where are you? The trap's not from Mizuki, the trap's worry, from me. I'll find you. I'm about to be knocked out again, aren't I? For the third fucking time. I just cannot maintain consciousness. Okay. Where would I hide Mizuki? I'd put her in the refrigerator. Mizuki is in the fridge. Huh. Well, if she's not in the refrigerator... Where would I store her? Hmm. I know that both of these things are hollow, so... in there's not a bad idea. Date, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. Okay. Do I have to click again? Oh, X-ray, good. I was right the second time, but still. Well, that tells me that they didn't want to hurt her, and they had a good bit of time, because you can't just get into that hollow space easy. Mizuki! Dante, hurry! Help her! 
I'm beginning I to know, think... Actually, if I had to place bets, I'm going to bet that Boss is the one that did this. I'm going to bet Boss kidnapped Mizuki so that she could go and kill the other person. Idiot. Pull it off more gently. You're late, by the way. I was about to suffocate, just so you know. <sighs> this is so typical. You're never there when you need to be. Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus, and you... <laughs> Good, Dante. Good. Actually, stay like that for a while. Huh? <laughs> I don't believe this. A warning. That's a hell of a warning you got there, kid. Hell of a warning. Do it again, and I will chop you up into little bits and stuff you into a vase. Not you, so. Okay. Who did this? Three men. Okay, so so is bodyguards. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. Well, they were there to deliver pain. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No, they were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for So. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. Oh. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have... Oh, well, hello, bam, Solly Switch. Bam, bam. How are you today? Mizuki. I have just one thing to say. Hmm? Never in my life have I bought any weird videos. Bullshit, Dante. Bullshit. You bought weird videos last week. That's what you wanted to say? Uh. Well, we know who the culprit is. What? This game has been a lot, but we now know who in the last run sawed the two kids in half. Aside from that, we really don't know anything. We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the man who killed your parents. We don't know that. We're just assuming that. Who? Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. That's not knowing someone. I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. So, are you okay right now? Can I leave? Not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. If I get fat lips from this, I'm going to make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Oh, girls want bigger lips though. <laughs> Going to So's place is still a terrible idea, but let's do it. Mizuki, I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? No, not anymore. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? Those bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. I'll put them in the ground. Don't kill them. We need kill them alive, them. and I need you to stay safe. Kill Can all you of do them. That? Always. Always. Okay, about half the time. Occasionally. 
Mm-hmm. Anyway... Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy! I know. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Five minutes. We don't take warnings well, do we? Okay, now for the really, really, really bad idea. Thanks for the warm welcome. I came for so. Please, take me to him. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. I've always wanted to see this line. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line, too. This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's orders, nothing personal. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? Shit. Nope. We're not even close to done yet. Look. That's, uh... Anyone getting this. vibes? Why can't I remember the... Kill them. Matrix villain. Dante, I'll take care of these guys. You get oh yeah, she is definitely the brawn. Okay. She benches like 200 man. pounds. Jeez. I'm off. Dante is the one with the car. Okay, to be fair, Iba can drive the car, so, uh. Dante is Dante. Barely see. You there are have a hostiles. eyeball. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Hmm. Let's see. He is Iva's legs. And arms. Date, the island in the middle of the pond. Do you remember it? Yeah? Yeah. What does it help us? Your favorite thing is on that island. My favorite, My favorite thing? thing? A porno magazine. Oh. What? Listen, Dante, he has one thought. He's lucky that he's hot. Dante, 
revolver with wire bullets. I don't know what the fuck they at? are. Above us. Above us? Why? Body. No time to explain. Just do it. Oh, grappling hook. I actually had to flip my controller and look. <laughs> what was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? Now throw us the gun. Come quiet. Date, do as I told you. Don't you mean surrender? Do it! Do it or we die! Lightning rod. I feel very bad for all those dead people. You lied that to me again. Painful. I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6. A rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere. So I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Smart. I wouldn't have thought of that. Anyway... Where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. Yep. <laughs> She's hurt. Uh, my eyes. My Mizuki! <laughs> Wait for me! I'm This this is why you don't bring a child. And it's a trap. Data. I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Mizuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. No. Twice in one day. Mizuki's metal pipe. Mizuki hostage. Shit. Date, look around. Mizuki must be nearby. Not necessarily, it could be a camera. Why are you having me look around and not just eyeballing your way? Okay, sliding door. Have you looked on the other side of the sliding door? He said that if I take another step, he kills her. But I know there's another room back there. There we go, X-ray. Just shoot him in the head. You're good. There you have is. your revolver. That is so. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. 
Mm. Why isn't Masuki not really. Back? More of a hostage. She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why. But she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. That one. Would... Stop that line of thinking. Why? If you shoot now, there is a high chance you will hit Mizuki. Okay, true enough. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. Like he's not going to be suspicious that you're picking up the and loading the revolver. You need to do two things. First, throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. No questions, there is no time to explain. You sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. This is bullshit. Are you ready? No. Yeah. Go! She was awake. Azuki, <sighs> move! This kid is losing three parents in one day. No, two days. It's still holy shit. Most people don't even get three parents. And this kid lost three. I think that that's the first ending that I've gotten. Yes, I would like to save. Well, save into... Hmm... You know what, I'm gonna go back and save in slot one. And I'm actually gonna take a very short break. Hey... This might be a tad bit loud. Sorry if it is. Let's see... Where is my music? Oh, cool. It doesn't appear to be too loud. I will be back in just a moment.
Okay, I am back. I drank too much water. Okay. So I've got the save now. You guys can hear me, right? Ah, thank you. Okay. So, I am back to my flowchart. And it is becoming more complicated. Hmm. I don't think that I have a choice here. I think that I've just got the timeline, so... I think the, the only time that I can actually make branching choices is in the sink. So, I will go back to syncing with the kid... And I'll have to figure out a different way to solve it. Okay. Back to the weird sink. Judging by that, look, I can wear a barrel. That's interesting. But not that useful. Proceed. Can you please take me with you? Aww. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Same. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Back to the scene of the crime. Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? No. But a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... Is Congressman so? Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call, the earth cries out, the crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! Yeah! It still bothers me that this kid is 24. I will protect Tessa! Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. Alright, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan! Activate! Okay. I know how to unlock number one, and I know the second answer for number two. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Like a dunce. Aw, <laughs> such an idiot. Damn it! If I go and hit that, I'll have nothing to show for it! All of it. I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Same, Iba, same. Okay. Let's deal with the icy floor first. The ice on the floor is slick. So, uh... Jump. The Same way that method. he was. Understood. Huh? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Yes. No, 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 not at all. The 
those who don't fight won't survive! So in the last version of events, I went over and knocked a barrel and got the um, Damn. controller for the crane. He's too strong. It sucks, but this is war after all. <laughs> Tessa, may the glory of victory be yours. It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Okay. So Shining Light to squirt him to the red shelf is what I did la last time. Shining Light green shelf is this time. I believe that I need to, to thaw each of these. The cold has frosted over it. So I will breathe on each of them. And use but up then, all of my time. Strange happened. What's happening? Oh, that's bright. What is this? Huh. I figured I would have to do all of them. Mom's knife. Options! Tessa! If this was another, I would have died already. Next time, he will get me. That's just destiny. Okay, so I made it to mental lock number two. The correct way. Ooh. No! I will fight destiny and win! So he says. I'm betting I'm now I can do him. what I did last time we and to push the freight to, to him that back. way. Look cool doing it. So I have no idea what that is, and I don't care. Forklift. A forklift? Sorty with it. I don't know what sorty is, but it seemed to sort of work last time. What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Do either of you know what sorty is? Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. You have three minutes, Dante. I want to know what that is, so... You know what? I'm gonna breathe on this. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. I'm ah. sure. Okay, so I get it. If I would have done the wrong one first. Let's see, what am I up to now? What haven't I checked? 
I haven't done anything with the ice machine, but I'm pretty much out of time. So I need to talk to Ota. Ota is still down. Ota. I got First, the wrong one. Calm down. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I was ready for this when I first stepped foot inside! From start to finish, I'm a climax all the way! There! Hi. Yeah, it's his mom's knife. It has the engraving. Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. Temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... The evidence is the knife. It isn't relevant. Okay, okay. Odaman cookie? I think the knife's more relevant. The Hodoroki man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I I'm not! Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse. But you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not! Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? I'm not accusing you, I'm, you I'm accusing her. I think that you're hiding the floral pattern knife. The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? 
the criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because... I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want... to put her through that. And... And? Mom she has never dementia. liked Tessa. So maybe... Just maybe... Mom hired someone to kill Tessa. And she gave them that kitchen knife. I don't know. I thought of it that way. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just... lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Because... You had her car. I don't know... Actually, does that prove anything? I doubt that your mom would know how to set up streaming equipment. Maybe the two cars? I don't actually know what this is looking for. Okay, so the cars was one thing. Is the streaming equipment the other? Nope. The fishery itself? Damn. Okay, uh... The chocolate's the only other thing, but I don't see how they're related. Yeah, that's it. The Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot of the Famista while Iris was in the car. That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 8.12, which was about 100 yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. She entered the 8.12 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. What? Hey, w wait a minute! Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Hmm. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita, but I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Hmm? I did it. I did everything. Yeah, if we were in the U.S., she would just be locked up and thrown in jail. Granted, it's looking like Japan might be doing that, too. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest, I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true! I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. You got to the top of Abyss acting like that? I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. 
Good. Can I talk to her? No. Oh, yeah. No, that's a mirror. Okay. Why'd you stream online? Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain well, she's it to me? confessing to it, but I don't think step that she was the murderer. Just tell me what I you still did. think that was so. I can't explain it in words. It's more like muscle memory. I you was have a able muscle to get memory it of streaming. After trying a few times, that's all. Bullshit. But welcome back, Yuri. We found So's blood at the scene before So killed me. By the way, I got to bad end while you were gone. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I went to confront So. So, um, the congressman. He kidnapped my daughter. And then he shot me. It was kind of abrupt. But his blood's at the warehouse, mixed in with the boys. And now this person wants to confess. Where'd you get the camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Which garbage? Uh, I, I don't remember. The garbage. It's true. I planned the There's whole thing. There's only one. Why'd you kidnap Virus? My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. I doubt it, hearing. I think that the reason why she's confessing is that she has dementia, so she can't remember a bunch of things. She probably doesn't remember the warehouse at all, and thinks that she actually did it, so she might be making up fake memories or just confessing because she feels guilty and making up a story to go with it. So, why'd you take your eye? Because I... I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. Okay. So you hated her. Why'd you stab your son? Well... You were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes! I... I him with the knife I brought from home. Oh yeah, we also know that she didn't do it because we have a timeline that she physically couldn't have been there to do it. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... Yeah, about the other killings. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Shoko and Renju? Yes, I killed them. Yeah, bullshit. Why are you lying? I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half.
Then when and how did you kill her? Well, I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is gonna work? I, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. True. Why'd you kill the other two then? Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. Oh yeah, hearing you missed me being absolutely livid about him and his wife abusing their daughter. Because his wife literally was hitting the daughter. And neglecting her every day. He even called it abuse. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. So, why'd you kill the wife? I know why I would have wanted to kill the wife, but why'd you do it? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. He doesn't give but a shit about her. divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter! The bonds of matrimony are eternal! I can In assure opinion, you they are not. I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there! Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You Great. seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sync with her. That seems like a really bad idea. If the sync has the risk of mixing up people's minds and she has dementia, I doubt that this machine was tested Cuter, on people with that with type Mayumi of mental Matsushita. disorder. Prepare the machine. Um, well, uh, what happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sync, well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. How long will it take to fix? Sixteen hours. At least. You've got eight. But that's impossible. So we can't sink yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. Oh uh, yeah, look for fingerprints on the night. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Granted, she probably washed the knife, which is quite good at getting rid of fingerprints. Computer, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. What, have you never had to wash blood off of stuff hearing? Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. 
There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. Ota. It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi to be saw fair, the thing. he's been pretty much everywhere, so but Ota uh, was stabbed in the stomach be. by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, I doubt it, but he could be. It. it is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? I mean, I think they Before stabbed I himself. Explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? Oh yeah, hearing I'll point out that whenever I'm talking about washing blood off of stuff, it's usually my blood. If not, it's animal blood. Okay. I've, uh... Actually, what's in this glove compartment? Will you tell me? No. Fine. I've, uh... Iris had her eye taken out. I'm not too interested. Yesterday's Somnium didn't work right. That's interesting. But the van that was stolen... Van's got some interesting connotations. If the van was taken, how did she get there? The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. And but forensics that I didn't only about. found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Hmm. Huh. Smart. Okay, what about Somnium last night? In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Okay, Iris's eye. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. Her fame? Doesn't seem worth it. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? I... Don't buy it. Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps I guess Mayumi technically he could stab himself, event. get rid of the knife, and then it is also possible that Mayumi pull the trigger and lay down. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes. So in that first loop he killed fear. himself. Technically, that works. I guess he would do that if he messed up and actually did kill her. So sadly, this more or less does add up. Why would they do something like that? For fame, they probably didn't either mean to die. 
Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her oh, eye and had Oda that is stab the point. himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. Because both of those people I were using her friend. Saying that this is only a theory. Hmm. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic or even psychotic. I hate that this adds up. We can't rule anything out. Ota, why are you... Why did you arrest Mom? Because you she said you were gonna clear murder. her! Why? <laughs> Sorry, Ota, I just can't feel bad for you after you tased me and hit me with a... walk. Okay, you were stabbed, but I don't know if you stabbed yourself. What picture is this? Oh, I can't see. Hmm. I wonder if the knife is still in there. Not gonna let me do anything but talk to him, Maria. Okay. You worried about your mom? Of course I am! That's my mom! What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Okay. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. Okay. She's not actually under arrest yet. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Innocent and stupid. He's not gonna answer if Iris did it. Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself. Or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, would it, Ota? You... <laughs> Did you stage it? I'm telling you, I didn't! I still think and why you is did. Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. 
She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Uh... I don't think that we got an answer as to where he got the money. But as far as where did he get the phone, yeah, we know where he got it. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. And he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idol concert tickets. I had it good, but we were drowning in debt. There's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university. But right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah. He had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say anything. Oh yeah, thing. he's 24. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. He's 24 and his muddy stories and stuff, he sends to the person that I'm raising as a daughter who is 12. And the pop star that he's been manipulating and trying to get to fall in love with them is 18. So yeah, I have a good reason not to like him. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Oh, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't or understand, the very Mom. Get published. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Ah, oh, thank Is you, right? Granby. How are you? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever, I'll always support you, Ota. I'm doing well. <clears throat> this game has upset me a few times today, but it's good. You lied about being friends with an editor, didn't you? Yeah. How do you guess? It was really because just a you few lied texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But. 
It's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom... 5,000 words. She still... Damn, this She kept sucks. supporting me. There's only a couple of pages. When did your mom get dementia? Not long after I quit college. Mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie. I totally forgot. Oh, How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Lack of career choice. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? I feel bad for are her. Are you kidding? I'm gonna hug her. What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Well, hearing to be fair to Ota, living with somebody with dementia is hard. And whenever they're first developing dementia and you don't know it, it's a really hard situation. There have been some members of my family that have gone through that. Luckily, I'm not blood-related to them, so I shouldn't inherit it, but... It's a very hard thing. Why are you making fun of me? There's probably a lot that's led up to this. You, honey. Don't fuck with me! As hard as it is for everyone else, it's even harder for her, because she probably doesn't even know that her memory's slipping. Mom got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. Um. And another bad part of it is if you don't catch it early enough, then the person who has dementia will, if they're to the point where they're forgetting enough, will forget that they have dementia. What's that picture? Looking at this photo reminds me... One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad, and they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything, but Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. Oh. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. But I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. That's not Your a good thing to go off of. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI, we can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. Yes, yeah, sorry, that? I feel ya. Yeah. Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba. 
Let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. Both dementia and Lou Gehrig's disease are absolutely terrifying. Whenever I was in high school, I had a well, I had two friends that lost their dad to Lou Gehrig's disease, and it just eats away at you. And he only lasted about, I think it was six months after they found out. But during that time, he completely changed as a person. to cold storage. What will I find this time? That's very true hearing. The only one that I've seen so far that probably is okay is Mama Date, at the Marble. weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was. But a thought occurred to me. Okay. Last time that I was out here, um, So was standing over there before luring me over and shooting me. I'm sorry, Pramby. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris, or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. Hmm. I'm trying to think of another possibility, but in truth, we never went through and thought about Iris potentially being the killer. She's just kind of always been outside of that. I, what? Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you staying? We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course, a different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. That's why I've been wondering. Surely they don't own more than one car. The van would be enough for her. So where'd she get a car? Found one hit. A taxi. Oh. Well, Where's that makes now? sense now, doesn't it? It is parked in Lemnisgate's parking lot. At Lemnisgate? Why? That's weird. Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. Well, zip zamp zoop, we got a scoop. Oh, different angle of inside. Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? Moi? My god, this Stop guy's it. creepy. Now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? 
Moi, I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There okay, why are you here? I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. <laughs> I gotta agree, Bramby. About the woman that you drove. Same hearing, same. But never punch somebody with glasses. Steal their glasses, then punch them. Before I arrived at Limnesky, I completely missed that. Before I arrived at Limnesky, I got the picture of Mayomi from Ibis. I showed the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Ooh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. She doesn't oh, remember hag. you at all. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. But our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. Me? I'm just a humble idiot. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. But I'm sus. Okay, you're right to think that I'm sus. Okay. Okay, so... Where the fuck are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. I don't Why know do what that like is. That? I don't know what you mean. God I've spoken it. this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. <sighs> okay. The fuck are you doing here, kid? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Thank you, Cramby, and have a wonderful day. What happened with Mayomi? Why are you so angry about her? Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag and as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance she was already barking orders at me follow that van hurry i must admit i found it rather exciting just like an old chase film i of course insisted that i be paid up front who the hell we pays a the van taxi driver up front hour. suddenly the van came to a halt at a convenience store the famisto along koshu right Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8 store, but 100 yards from there. What jig? You're trying to stop them. You don't care if they know that you're following or not. While waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move, the old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the eight. So, this idiot's the reason why it happened. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. This has just all been a giant cluster, hadn't it? And you caused it. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. Wait, we what? We of course could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten the van minutes went to so. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. 
But the but fuck? 30 minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. How fucking long was I knocked out? About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RERK warehouses. Excellent. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. Here's one problem. How in the world did the kid in a stolen car manage to follow the van in all of those places? That doesn't make sense to me. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. Wait, right, then how the hell did she get home? I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman So Sejima. Sejima? Of course it is. Why did the van go to So's house? We need to speak with him immediately. Yay, Agreed. we're Let's gonna move. get shot again. Driver, I hate your face. You want know just to make up for talking to the driver? Yeah, can I not talk to you? Oh well. Okay. What's the what the fuck about hearing? Is it about how she got home or that so shot us? Yeah, this story adds a lot to what happened. I have no idea what the timeline is now, but I'm beginning to suspect more that she might be the murderer. There's no one here. Indeed. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Well, maybe I won't die this time. Hey, Iba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess oh, the sense Oh god, of no, smell, he was chopped correct? up again, wasn't he? Oh, right. Yep, he's in the pot. He's in the pot. There's something strange about this vase. Ugh. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? 
Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. And from before, we know who did this to him. Or at least who partially did it to him. We know that it was Boss. The lid is fixed with Or at least bolts. last time it, it was. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure... Smash it. Or as Nigel Thornberry would say, smashing. Yeah, yeah, that looks like him. Hmm. I wonder how much of this was done while he was alive. I know a lot of it wasn't, but I wonder if some of it was. What the? Date, destroy the base. Got oh. it. Why would I do that? He's already obviously dead. Keep him in the vase and get the plate. Just knock the fucking thing over. So, Sejima? You know, if you want to get rid of that body quick, just fill it up with piranha solution. If I remember correctly, piranha's uh, uh, hydrochloric acid plus uh, what was it? Hydrogen peroxide. It can rip apart pretty much anything that's organic in nature. By the way, never get piranha solution on you. It will eat you. Okay, back to So's body. So that is the head. head of So Sejima. Left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. I don't think so. This is hidden. Everything else was very open and public. So this doesn't track. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. You do not turn this gray That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita yeah. Diner. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. There's no way in fuck this was moved. today. He that looks means Ota, like he's Mayumi, been dead for a week at least. Iris committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. You're making the assumption that this was by the same person. Can I do anything else? No, only his body, really. I miss. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Yeah, last but time so the family. housekeeper found them. So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date, the sync machine is up and running. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found So Sejima's body, but the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. What the hell do we if need to do? that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows oh, something yeah. we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Naomi. You mean the game itself? 
It's the same people that made 999 and Duncan Romper. I don't remember their name, though. Okay, let's go back to Abyss. Yeah, that's how I found out about this game. I had played 999 and a friend happened to have a copy for Switch. very moment, the media is already swarming outside the building. Really? Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. Well, hello, if Citrus we sink Gates. Into How are you brain, today? That might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are also, we're only sinking for yeah. six minutes. Then, let's begin. They can wait for six minutes. That guy waited for an entire day to be found crushed up and in that pot. I'm doing well. Quite a lot better than a couple people in this game. I and mean, the congressman got chopped up and put in the pot. Meh, that's pretty much the only thing that's happened. Where am I? Yep, that's what I was worried about. Diving oh, into somebody's mind me. with dementia. This is my house. Huh? I... What happened to me? This is gonna be a lot. This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time, and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must... Somnium scan! Activate! Obtain anything fun today, Citrix? Citrus? Okay, that's a lot of mental locks. Okay, I've got to reproduce her actions to help invoke lost memories. Why? Hmm. What's on the map? Sliding door, calendar, swinging door, and wall clock. I'm guessing calendar. What is today's the calendar date? calendar reads two months ago. Oh. I didn't expect that to be part of her memory then. A calendar. Nothing useful. What else do I have on the map? Let's see... Swinging door would take me into the kitchen. Wall clock will probably give me the time of day. But more than that, tell me what she thinks should be going on in the diner at that time of day. Uh... Well, that's not good. I know that you guys can't see it, but AI Somnium files just crashed. Or is in the process of crashing. Yeah, give it a minute and hope that it comes back. Because, hmm, I'm guessing it probably auto-saved before I went into this tree. Uh, 
Okay, I don't think that's going to come back. No need to try and repair it. And let's relaunch. I don't know if you can currently hear me because it's very angry and dropping a lot of frames because I closed that window. Oh, no, it seems like it's working. I have a window open so that I can see what's going on. Okay. Load oh, game. Cool, I have an autosave, but when was that autosave? Uh, 6.11, so a couple minutes ago. Not bad. Very happy that this game has an autosave feature. That's the first crash that I've had. Where am I? Where? Where is this? Oh, silly me! This is my house! Huh? This isn't your house, this is the diner. What we just to learned me? that you have a house and a diner. This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time, and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must... Somnium scan! Activate! I'm just glad that everything's working again. With the date of the diner being from two months ago, I doubt that much has changed within that time, so... Probably... I don't know, the clock. Let's see... Wait, somebody's outside the swinging door. I missed that last time. The sliding door at the entrance. Oh, sliding door. Who could that be? Hmm. Well, earlier there was talk of family being normal stuff about welcome and welcome back, so maybe it's welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ota. You're late today. Home. Oh. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Your favorite. Ooh, omelet rice. Like, isn't back yet. Omelet rice sounds eating? amazing. Again. I'm okay. I ate already. But. I'm fine. Oh. Uh, Ota, wait. Ota. I just want to give her a hug. diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. Doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. A calendar. When was this sad memory? 
The calendar reads five years ago. Yeah. That seems about right. Okay, what's on the map? You got the phone, swing door menu, beer poster, and wall clock. The phone's what I'm looking for. Because I'm guessing she's going to get a unfortunate phone call. Oh? It's the phone. Maybe try picking it up? Roger. husband my husband yes Matsushita diner yes well yes yes what my, my husband why how could this happen Oh, hearing, are you still here? Oh wait, I know that life. I'm looking at my own screen through these Twitch. memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe, but we have to see this through. We have to. Uh, Understood. I feel really bad for her. What is today's date? The calendar reads six years ago. The explosion was eight years ago, so... This place is still shut down. Is this the time that she was given the knife? Let's see. Cake. Swinging door. Autograph. Bucket. Menu, your poster, wall clock. Hmm. The cake is a really obvious thing, but... I get the feeling something's up with the autograph or the bucket. Who was here six years Autographs ago? Autographs decorate the wall. Left, the right, the middle. Why is the right so... Wow. Okay, so... 30 seconds. What's the left? Hongo? Who is that? Unknown. I can't picture the face. Uh... What was that? Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Hmm. I don't know that... Oh, hold on. Needed some water. I don't know that the autograph's going to help. Bucket. A bucket. You know what? I'm gonna leave that. Let's look at A the delicious cake. cake. Wonder who's, who's it for? for? Yep. Let's see. Six years ago, Ota either graduated high school or got into college, I'm guessing. Congratulations, Ota! I'm home! Ota! 
Congratulations on getting into the university, son! Congratulations! Hooray! Congrats! Is actually a really good dad. I'm guessing we're at eight years ago now. Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. When are we at now? A calendar. Today's date's going to be eight years ago. And I'll use up my one half. The calendar reads seven years ago. Oh no. If the calendar is seven years ago, then this is probably the day that they had to close down the diner. Meaning that that autograph is... I'm uh, not autograph. <clears throat> that envelope is most likely a bill that they can't pay. It's an envelope. Some kind of mail? This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Yeah. Let's do our best. Let's burn it and throw it away. Let's take a break. Let's forget about it. We all know what they did. They did their best. Oh. Let's do our best. He's got smiling eyes. He really does. We have to keep supporting Ota. Okay. We'll work harder for Ota's dream. They certainly know how to make depressing ones, don't they? Okay. We reproduced another painful memory. Even if a memory is painful, I'm absolutely sure that a person with dementia would rather remember it than to forget everything. Pretty much the worst thing that you can go through is losing yourself, and your memories are you. Even if it's painful, losing it's going to be far worse than remembering no, the pain. Quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true, but sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? You have three minutes, Dante. Sorry. Oh no.
What's the date? A calendar. I don't want to use the one eight. Do I want to use my thirty seconds to avoid the one eight being used? I kind of have to, even though it's worse. The calendar reads fifteen years ago. Before I know anything about their household or them. How old would have would Ota have been? He's twenty-four, so he would have been a nine-year-old fifteen years ago. And she said sorry. Hmm. What's on the map? Ottoman sticker. Swinging door. Autograph, bucket, menu, beer poster, and wall block. So it's the Odoman sticker, almost certainly. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? Oh. I mean, this is just kids. Kids are excitable. And they like to receive presents. Everybody likes to receive presents, and pretty much everybody likes to give them. It? This is Ota when he was small? They're gonna say that Ota's spoiled, but I'm gonna disagree. Provided that they do say that, but I'm usually right about where the game's going. No, Hayset didn't exist at that time. Chocolates, most likely. They wouldn't have said, don't be selfish, I don't think. So, I think it's chocolate. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki Man, remember? That. Yes, of course I bought it. Look, the Momonoki Man chocolate that you like. Mm. Oh no. It's not the right thing. Here you go. That's not it. Oh honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man! Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Oh. That's how kids are, though. I, I feel bad for her and everything, but that is just generally kids. We don't learn until we've grown up and grown out of it. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Okay, that's him being an asshole, but... I'm guessing he gets it from somewhere. Probably TV. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Hmm. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man! It's Odoroki Man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! Ah. Uh. That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into that story. Okay. What? Wait, Ota! Uh, where did you go? After I'm done with this, I'm Please, probably going to raid. Come out from hiding, Ota! Ota, I'm sorry! Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota! Hmm. Ota! Come back! Uh. Where's my tissues? Uh. 
Yota? Takaro? Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I, I, I'm sorry, Oka! Oda! Takaro! I can't do this on my own! That's another thing about dementia. A lot of the times, whenever they remember their a certain time period, they are in that time period. It's like loading a save state. Don't leave me! <laughs> so that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. What's on the map? Only the wall clock. A wall clock? Precious memory is probably when he was born, if I had to take a guess. So I'll use my one tenth time and turn back the clock. In time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. I'll figure it out. I will never forget whenever they gave me the knife. That's probably what this is going to be. A calendar. So it's going to be the picture. The calendar reads 15 years ago. You have less than two minutes. Hurry! What's on the map? There's the sticker. Swing door, autograph, bucket, menu, beer poster, wall clock. I'm wrong. I think. Wall clock. A wall clock? Huh. Bucket, autograph, your poster, menu, swing doors. What's behind here? A swing door here? that leads to the kitchen. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. For what? To prepare the diner. Do I have to do the preparations? Well, Mayumi is working here. But aren't there other things to investigate? You don't want to go to the kitchen? I am not good with wet areas. You know, when you're in my eye socket, you're always moist. I am not. Isn't the inside of my eye socket pretty moist? It is not! 
Stop saying that! Huh? Huh. Okay, so that wasn't it. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Ota, come over here. Ota, come over here. Ota? Ota, a girly magazine came in the mail. No. Is this for Ota or for Dad? Well, this is awkward, but there's no reaction. I tried my best. Let's investigate something else. Bucket hmm. counter menu. Let's check out the Ota it's man a sticker, sticker from a chocolate. Welcome home. So I'm guessing oh, I needed to go forward in time. Here you go. That's not. Oh, honey, I thought you. No, it's Odor. Oh, sorry. You're not. Oh, I'll buy. It's. N I hate. Skip this. I do not want to go through that pain again. Back to where I can control, please. Less than one minute. Hurry. Yes, I am A aware walk. that I have no time. I have no time and not much use for. I'll only have four seconds after this. Fancy <sighs> time. I can't even check the calendar. She's crying. I think that's the time that they gave her the knife. Ota, sweetie! Mom! I... Uh, I... We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh, Ota! Yeah. Oh. Uh, thank you, Mom! <laughs> you know, I... I love you! Forever and ever! Me too, Ota! Imagine I telling somebody that you love so them, much. and they say me too I'll in the way that they love no themselves. What. Oh, forever and ever! <laughs> Oh, I'll never forget this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we are a family. We can do anything. Yes. Yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Date. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your... Intuition. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to her, figure out what she knows, then most likely raid. Yeah, hearing that last bit was really cute.
Too bad the rest of it was so painful. <laughs> Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But Mom, why did you think I did it? About that. So the fan followed... was followed by a taxi. But when the van... Oh. On, sun, yeah. on Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi, but... When the van was hijacked in the family store parking lot, Mayumi was in another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought that Ota was still driving the van when it drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up at the warehouse near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found in at the Okura Fish Cold Storage Warehouse. I skipped something, I think. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A uh, polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. Oh. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Aww. Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey. I want to hug his mom. I, I still want to kick the him. Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid. It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. Good. Good dad. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. 
But the guilt. I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, oh. full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh, Yes, Mom is the best mom in the world. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese! Pepper Jack. Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. <laughs> Good one, Mayumi hearing. just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Ah? Uh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that right? I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. Pepper Jack's just what I have in my, um, fridge. Actually, no, it's not Pepper Jack. I think it's Pepper Jack Kobe or something. It's some kind of mix. I bought it because it sounded interesting, but it really is meh at best. So, what happens now, Ota? I was always so selfish. You still are. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. Why don't you actually of write a book? Author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. 
Really? Yeah. She's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe. Just maybe. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiancé. Oh, um. yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> eh, they can't fully redeem a character because... Then it would just kind of be cheesy. <laughs> Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. Oh, I didn't expect that to be another end, because you could still talk to her. Oh, I guess it's not an end? Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? Yeah, None. so's dead. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What do you mean you're lost? You mean the time skip? Or... So, essentially what happened... We... Oh. I guess it wasn't an ending, but it was something weird. I have no idea what it really was. I skipped it. <laughs> I thought that was going to be weird to be an ending. I'm guessing it's the correct path forward in the story. And everything else is going to split off into side tangents that eventually get me killed or dead end or something. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Yeah, I'm very confused by the credits this? as well. It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Yeah, Tessa was weird. You witch! There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Oh god. It is her, that's how the knife got there. Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? 
eyeball no, is partially right. Fine. Okay, let's go. We completely ignored oh, Tessa being a killer. But Ota, I don't think, is in on hey, it. What's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. I don't think that she was kidnapped. Lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Well, we yeah, know the killer the is So. I have learned new information. Even though So's dead. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? An eye. Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Yep. Well, I think that we found this end. <laughs> God, that's creepy. Yes, save. And... I will save into slot number two. Yes. So we've now got Sejami So's residence bad end and Ota root end. And with that I'm do I'm going to call it a day and raid. Not even too much of a cliffhanger for you this time. Okay. I pull up my browser so that I can copy and paste the name. Okay. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful day hearing, and anyone else is here that is here, I hope that you have a wonderful day as well. I'm going to get some rest. These are the, the bigger ones, the more successful ones. Or perhaps just the bolder ones? Bolder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe more desperate. Thank you.